Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you guys are new to my channel, hey, my name is Piper and I am a current first year medical student. I still have like this freaking her formal wristband on. So I'm a first year medical student and I'm currently interested in dermatology. And so definitely like being in your first year of medical school, you obviously, like that's not really the chance for you to focus on what you're interested in and learn more about it. So I feel like with specialties that you really wanna know more about to carve that out in your own time. And so because I'm interested in derm and I want to learn more about like different products, different companies, Companies. I just want to actually be able to start to understand what some of the benefits are for our skin. Just share that with you all because this is definitely a specialty that I'm interested in. I'm going to be a doctor one day and I want to be a dermatologist. I want to be able to relate to my patients and be able to recommend them some products and some skincare lines and companies that I absolutely love and would just recommend to them. So that's why I'm going to be starting my skincare series. March is the first month that I'm starting this series and yeah, so let's get into this video. Okay, so I'm already starting off with a clear face. I just my typical wash my face after I brush my teeth. And just for like a little background info, I would definitely say my skin is more so on the drier side. My skin gets really, really dry, especially in the wintertime. Like I look like a snowflake just, just coming off of my face. And if you get oily, I typically just get oily like in my T-zone, like over here and on my forehead. But so yeah, I guess I would kind of be combo skin, but I definitely think that I'm more on the drier side. Like, it gets bad. I usually have to soak my face in aquaphor every night. Go with my skin looking a little hydrated. So today we're going to be trying out the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. The 10 minute exfoliating facial with a pH of 3.6. This is what the bottle looks like. So the directions of this says, Clean face and wait for skin to dry. Do not use on wet skin. Apply evenly across the neck using fingertips, avoiding the eye area. Leave on for no more than 10 minutes. Rinse thoroughly with loom lukewarm water. Do not use unsensitive peeling or compromised skin. Well, we're gonna use it today. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys what some of the benefits are for this product. So this product, it's supposed to target textural irregularity, textural irregularities. This product is supposed to target textural irregularity. Yes, I can't say this. This product is supposed to target textural irregularities, dullness and uneven skin tone. It says it's suited for all skin types. It's a water-based serum and some key ingredients include cholic acid, lactic acid, tartaric acid, citric acid, sal salicylic acid, sodium hyaluronic, cross polymer, Tasmania lanceolata fruit, and leaf extract. Some extra benefits of this product is that it's oil-free, cruelty-free, it's also vegan, it's also alcohol-free as well, and it's silicone-free, and it's at a pH of around 3.5 to 3.7. You're supposed to use this product as a face mask, and then you're just gonna wash it off afterwards. You to use it before serums, oils, or any sort of creams on your face, so you wanna make sure that you have it on a dry face. And the website, they call it as an advanced level exfoliating peel and I'm not gonna lie I don't really do too much exfoliating with my skin so I do think that this product will be good for the times that I do need exfoliation okay so I'm just gonna apply this onto my face now it just says to use your fingertips so that's what we're gonna do low-key burn. I will say this feels like really smooth and like soft on my face. I don't know, like it just feels kind of good. I have no idea how I know if I put enough on. Oh, also said I put some on your neck. Imagine just, I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more on. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I just need a little bit more. I just need a little bit more. Oh my god, it looks like still a teenager. I would be like it's... 
I don't know, it's just reminding me of the Vampire Diaries. I don't know. I would say it does kind of tingle, but it's not like a burn. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. I'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. Okay guys, so it's been 10 minutes. I honestly say that I'm surprised that it didn't really like burn as much as I thought it would. Um, I'm saying that because I am the ultimate, I hate paint for anything to burn, itch, oh, absolutely not. So I thought the chemical peeling solution was going to be like a little bit more like, like like a little tingly sensation. It did tingle for a little bit, but I would say that was only for about like three, four minutes. And yeah, I was really cruising the whole time it was sitting on here. But the directions say to take off with warm water. So I'm just going to wet this washcloth and take it off. kind of burned as I'm taking it off. I hope I didn't get any of it into my eye. I feel like my skin looks kind of glowy though, right? No? I don't know. I think this definitely needed to go on my neck though because I've been peeping, like I've been getting some darkness under my neck. I don't know what the cause of that is. I feel like my skin does look a little bit like dewier though. I really do. So this is what my face looks like where we took it off. Um, I would say my skin is kind of tingly, kind of itchy, um, just because I don't really have like a whole bunch of redness going on, I don't really think my skin is having like an allergic reaction to it. I do like how dewier my skin looked after it, um, yeah, I mean, I don't have much to say right now, I think this is something that I would have to keep on using. Um, yeah, so I think this is definitely a product that I will try again, and I think it's one that I'm gonna have to try a couple of The time to really get a grasp of if I like it or not and to see how my skin reacts to it like in the morning time but for now I'm gonna go ahead and finish my skincare routine because this was only like ordinary they say that this is step two the treatment and you do this after you cleanse your face and for me I have to moisturize my face or it's not gonna look good in the morning okay guys so this is the final look for my nighttime skincare routine um, yeah, some people might be like, you're oily, you look greasy, girl, I look very moisturized, my skin is moisturized, getting all her nutrition. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in to the product review this month, the Ordinary Chemical Peeling Solution. I definitely get this a passing grade, and I will definitely try this out again. I'm very interested to see how this will work on my skin long term, and what effects that I will see from it in terms of it looking more fresh and more exfoliated than normal because like I said I don't really exfoliate as often so and exfoliating is really important and I just like suck at adulting sometimes and exfoliating is super important so you can like remove all of that dead skin and all that debris and germs and dirt so I'm very excited to try to incorporate this product more into my routine I would say this is a product that you would probably use once a week for someone like me at least with sensitive skin and even though I didn't have an adverse reaction to this I definitely felt like a whole bunch of tingling and because of that I feel like if I were to use it more than like once a month this would be something that would be way too harsh on my skin and I don't want that because that will just cause my skin to be like all red and bumpy and inflamed. I definitely feel like this chemical peeling solution was definitely the perfect balance for my face. Um, like I said, I do have really sensitive skin, but it was just strong enough for my skin to not really react and be too sensitive for it. So this definitely passes the sensitive skin mark for me at least and guys like i'm talking about my skin was so sensitive I'd use clean and clear in high school and it would break me out clean and clear actually what happened to them i need to google that but yeah so and that was clean and clear i couldn't use neutrogena i couldn't use so that's how sensitive my skin is and fenty i broke out using fenty just to name a couple of stuff that i absolutely cannot use so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys are interested in this new series that i'm gonna do so thank you guys for joining this month's product review and i will see you next month with a brand new skincare product